Hey guys, this is Jeff with the Middle Age Master coming at you back from my couch. Um, I don't know if you've checked out a video. I'm going to put it up in the, uh, the tag section here about my initial review of my 2017 Diamondback release. Um, I have that bike back in my house, which is kind of nice for just a little bit of time. So I thought I'd do an update on it about some of the things that we did <clears throat> and how really freaking awesome that bike is. Um, it's a large release one, minor upgrades, but um, I gotta tell you, man, it, uh, it rides as nice as any bike out there and it's about a third of the cost. Um, <clears throat> super sweet bike. Take a look, I'm gonna give it a little bit more in-depth review. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'm gonna put a couple of uh, video links up here and uh, hey, we'll catch you soon. Out. And here is a Diamondback release one 2017 model year, a RockShock Yari fork. Those uh, Blanchard rims are pretty much bulletproof. The fork's been phenomenal. Just doesn't have the charger dampener. Uh, pretty nice. Great place to sp store a spare tube. RockShock uh, Monarch Debonair rear with the uh, NX crank set. I did put a 28 tooth front sprocket on it and uh, put these Black Ops pedals on them. They're really big, really wide, and pretty grippy, and I haven't had any bends or concerns with them. Um, here's the magic about this bike, is this level link. It's kind of a hybrid VPP, but in my opinion, it's probably a little bit better. Um, levels out that platform. Here's the other rotating link. Um, perfect design, perfect ride. Really, really short chain stays. If memory serves me right, they're 425 millimeters. Uh, SRAM NX drivetrain, including the cassette at this point in time. Rear Blanchard rim, SRAM chain, uh, Minion DHR rear tire. One of the main upgrades I did on this bike was put an SDG TELUS dropper post on it. Um, great dropper post, um, very affordable. Comes with a kick ass lever right out of the box. Probably about 290 bucks and um, it uh, came from Worldwide Cyclery, WTB saddle, um, 150 millimeters, fits that large frame perfectly. Um, Diamondback house, bars and stem. There's a lever that comes stock with the TELUS. It is super sweet. It's as nice as a wolf tooth lever. Um, really, really good. Level brakes, these things blow. Um, they might stop you. Santa Cruz grips, if that means anything. Um, the geometry on this bike is is spot on. It's long, low, slack. It's very modern. It's kind of a cross between a uh, Bronson and a uh, kind of a transition uh, smuggler type geometry. Really long front end, um, long reach, short chain stays. Makes it a real fun, poppy bike. Um, don't have enough good things to say about it. Um, only good thing about it would be is if it was carbon and about two pounds lighter but it pedals much lighter than it really, really is. This bike is boost spacing on the rear, boost spacing on the front. It can handle up to a 2.5 wide tread tire. Haven't had any problems with these Blanchard wheels. They've been bomb proof. Um, this bike's been ridden by, by a couple other people now, and um, man, it's just spot on. There's your Diamondback release. If you have 